For me, there's been something of a paradigm shift with olive oil, a product that has been in my cupboard, it's been on my table for as long as I can remember. I think of it as the known unknown. Everyone knows what it is. Everyone goes to the grocery store and they buy it, but you don't really know the product that's actually on your table. My name is Phil Bucchino, and I'm an assaggiatore di olio d'oliva, or an olive oil taster. Olive oil has been around with me forever, and I was lucky enough that for many, many years, I was able to travel, perform, make music, work in studios. I was in a band, and then I produced records, and olive oil was an interesting glue on the road. When the harvest was around and the olive oil would arrive, it was a moment of joy to whatever you are in whatever city. You would get together at a friend's place on a day off, and you cook, and you eat. Oh my God. <laughs> the new wave of olive oil producers, growers, millers, tasters, and the whole wave of younger people that are going back to the groves and bringing them back, these people are actually obsessed. They're laser focused, obsessed on the quality of the product. They understand the tradition, they understand the importance of olive oil as a whole to the culture, to the table, to the food, but they've discovered a different element of it. And like an artisan and human nature that we keep pushing forward to actually get better at what we do and who we are, that's the same thing that's happening in olive oil. And every single year, olive oils are getting better and better and better. This is what you don't do. Put it in bags, close them off, not aired. That oil will not taste good. I think whatever people did with wine, we can achieve the same results with olive oil. E che quindi anche per l'olio l'abbinamento è importante come per il vino, anzi di più, perché se sbagli l'abbinamento del vino, cambi il bicchiere, cambi vino, se sbagli l'abbinamento dell'olio che sta dentro al piatto, hai rovinato il piatto. We will try a real oil. They're like, it's too spicy, it's too strong. They come back to it on their own. Like at some point they're just like, wait a minute, they were bad and they're like. Uh, that was pretty good. For years, we just opened a menu and it said, I don't know, like a penne with rapini. Where was the penne from? Where's the rapini from? Where the onions, the garlic, the olive oil from? It was just assumed that it was fine. Ma a me piace sapere quel cosa c'è, anche perché uno li lo fa con il vino anche, no? Ma lo fa non solo con il vino, lo fa con con il formaggio, lo fa con tutto. È un ingrediente, no? Esatto. The best olive oil, the best ingredient that we grew out of our garden. That's what I would serve my son, and and that's what I want other people to eat: healthy, simple, and delicious. Senti, mi fa un piacere, stacca il microfono, apri la porta agli enchi. Buon open, sì, apriamo la porta? Ecco, <ride> 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 quello si pensa che stiamo a mangiare. Anch'io voglio mangiare. <ride>